Hello everyone! Welcome to the next video in our Phrasal Verb Challenge series. In today's video, we are going to learn phrasal verbs you can use at the hospital. Let's get started. The five phrasal verbs we are going to learn about today are fill out, come down with, swell up, break out, and fight off. So let's begin with number one. The first phrasal verb we will talk about today is fill out. To fill out means to write the needed information on an official document. So when you go to the hospital, they might give you some papers you need to fill out. So for example, we see a man filling out a form in this picture. And if we want to use it in a sentence, uh, we might say, please fill out this medical history form before you see the doctor. This is probably the first phrasal verb you'll hear when you go to a hospital. Fill out. Our second phrasal verb today is come down with. To come down with something means to get sick or to begin to have an illness of some sort. So for example, here we see two unlucky people who are coming down with a sickness. So if we want to use it in a sentence, we could say, I think I'm coming down with the flu. I had better rest. So if you notice that you are starting to feel sick, you can say, I think I'm coming down with something. And this is also something you might say to your doctor. I think I'm coming down with an illness. May I please have some medicine? Our third phrasal verb today is swell up. To swell up means for something to get bigger or to expand in an abnormal or not normal way. So here we see an example of someone's foot swelling up. So often, for example, when women are pregnant, their feet might swell up if they are uh, walking around for too long. And many other things can swell up. So for example, I am allergic to bees. If I get stung, my whole face will swell up. So if you have anything that swells up, it might be time to go to the hospital. Our fourth phrasal verb today is break out. So to break out means to get a rash or some skin irritation. There are many things that might cause you to break out. We also use the term break out to talk about acne and skin problems like face skin problems. But here uh, we're looking at break out in a more hospital context. So to get a rash or skin irritation. So if you uh, use something that makes you break out in a rash, it might make your skin very red or bumpy, and you might even swell up. So for example, I put on a new lotion and it made me break out in a rash. Our fifth and last phrasal verb today about hospitals is fight off. To fight off means to defend against or drive back an illness. So maybe you are starting to feel sick, but you fight it off and you don't get sick because you fought it off. Or maybe you do get sick and you try hard to recover quickly. So you fought it off. So for example, right? Uh, it's when we kind of kick away, fight off an illness. And if we want to use it in a sentence, we could say, I have been fighting off a head cold all week. I've been getting a lot of rest and taking vitamin C. So if you start to feel a little sick, if you do things to stop yourself from getting really sick, and then you don't get sick, it means you fought off the illness. So let's review. Our five phrasal verbs today were fill out, 
which means to write information on an official form, like your personal information and address and so on. Come down with, which means to start to get sick. Swell up, which means to get bigger or expand in an unusual or abnormal way. Break out, which means to get some kind of skin rash or irritation. And fight off, which means to defend yourself against getting sick. Okay, everyone, that is it for our phrasal verb challenge video today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.